we move until we're two spots further away from the spot where we want to park and we line up our mirror with the line. From inside the car, it should look something like this. If you have a bigger than average car, align the mirror a bit after the line and if you have a smaller car, align it a bit before the line. Now we turn the steering wheel completely to the right and we do our verifications to the left before backing up, central mirror, side mirror and blind spot. More on that later. So now we back up until the car is straight. When the car is straight, we turn the wheel one turn and a half to the left to straighten the wheels and we back up until the car fits in the spot completely. Now two questions I get all the time. First, why do I do my verifications to the left before backing up? That's because when we stop, if there's someone behind us, they'll probably try to pass us by the left. And since the nose of the car will point to the left when we'll back up, there's a risk of collision. Second, people often ask me to do a video on 90 degree parking, backing up to the left side. It's not recommended to park to the left backing up since you have to cross a whole lane. So it's better to either park to the left by going forward or if you need to park in reverse, do it to the right. And last but not least, a note on backup cameras. While it's nice to have them, most places won't let you use them at the exam. So you'll have to back up while looking behind with your head turned or by looking in the mirrors, whatever is required where you're doing your exam. I hope you liked this video. Like and subscribe if you want. If you have any questions or suggestions, post them in the comments. Thanks for watching.